Hey guys and welcome to Petroped and welcome to Lowen Cars. Now I'm back here with my friends at Lowen doing some work on the Clubman but they've just given me the keys to one of their demo cars. Now already on the channel I've driven the beautiful Penny and Dory but I've never ever managed to get hold of their ultimate demo car, Chili. Yes that R56 hatch is running 400 horsepower and they've just thrown me the keys. What could possibly go wrong? Now then before I take this rather intimidating Mini up the road for a drive, I think I should run down the specification for you. And there's so much work being done to this Mini, I think it's easier for me to cut to some voiceover. So Chile has had a lot of work. Let's start with the engine and exhaust. So we have a Lowen Configuration 7 engine with a Lowen Turbo Technics big turbo kit, a Krapovich Sports Cat and a Krapovich Cat back exhaust, and AirTech intercooler. The tuning is the clever bit. It's got a Link G4 Plus ECU, and a Lowen High Performance High Pressure Fuel Pump and Adapter Kit, and a Lowen ECU Tune. Drivetrain, well, we have a TTV Racing Organic Clutch Kit and Quaife ATB Differential. In terms of chassis and suspension, Chile sits on Olin's coilovers, EBAC anti-roll bar kit, EBAC rear control arms, and PowerFlex bushes. Inside, we've got Koba Nagaro seats, low and signature edition, a safety devices show cage in the rear only, Schroff harnesses, a CAE shifting short shifter with low and button tidy, and Defy gauges. And then finally, to top it off on the outside, Chili sitting on OZ Racing Legenda wheels and an RSI C6 front carbon splitter and other accessories. Right, unicorn car for me. Wanted to drive Chile for a long time. Last time I was here, just having some work done. And I mean, if you wanted a demonstration, the ultimate demonstration of what the guys here at Lowen can do, then I'm sat in it, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, huge amount of work. Um, I'm going to be really interested to see what the performance is like. I love getting in cars with full harnesses, especially on camera. Um, because I have a feeling it's going to be quite dramatic. I'm just going to start her and let her start warming up because one of the big things I've got to do. Okay, that doesn't sound, doesn't sound too bad, he says. In fact, it sounds relatively, relatively tameable. Um, so yeah, lots of, lots of uh, work. So what I'm going to do, there's a lovely couple of bits of road not that far from here, so we'll drive out and we'll find some nice roads. I'm not going to go mad. At the end of the day, this really, to put this car through its paces properly, you need to go on a track, but we have some roads and we have access to Chile. Okay, it's got the short shift, but I love these things. Right then. We've got to. So basically, the sport mode yep. only comes on when the light's on on the sport button. Yeah. But it won't come up on here because it's got a different ECU on it. Okay. So cool. it's got a standalone ECU on it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it's been warmed up or not. I'm, so. I'm going to take it super yeah. super careful and warm it up properly. Yeah. This but, this is the guy who's responsible for all the work under the bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> so what should I expect? Um, dragging you all over the place. Oh, I love it. <laughs> It'll be good. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what you say about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's only really been me and Andre that's driven it. Really? Mm. No pressure. No yeah. pressure. I'll take it super careful. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. That Don't worry. I'll, and I will let it warm up properly as well. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Have fun. Will do. Right. And here we go. There we go. So that's that's. Uh, <laughs> so basically. That guy there is the mechanic that's done all the work to this. We were chatting earlier in the workshop and he spent hours and hours and hours on this car. And Andre, well, Andre owns Lowen, so it's his car. <laughs> and they've let me drive it. So as we said, we're gonna take it super, super gentle to start with, let all the engine, because it's got a, like I've said already, a fully forged engine. 
it's about as hardcore an engine as you're ever going to get in a Mini. It's running on standard super and leaded fuel, so nothing like ethanol or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take it nice and gentle. Um, the other thing about the sport button, which is very different in this compared with any other Mini. So normally, in an R56 Mini, the sport button, when you push it, all it does really is it kind of firms up the steering a little bit uh, and just changes the throttle mapping a little bit. In this, when I hit the sport button, which I'll do shortly, it doesn't do anything to the steering, but it's a, basically a map change. So as it's running at the moment, um, I've got about 350 horsepower and something like, I think they were saying 400 Newton meters. When I hit the sport button, the horsepower figure goes to 400 horsepower and the Newton meters figure goes to about 475 which is frankly ridiculous <laughs> so yes I am pretty sure uh, the buzzword for this review is going to be torque steer I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have lots of that now my mini roadster that's 270 brake and about uh, 400 Newton meters um, the turbos and the wastegates even at just mooching speeds uh, so yeah so my mini you do have to grab onto it pretty well to be honest <laughs> this thing this thing is bonkers absolutely bonkers the clutch clearly it's got an uprated clutch to deal with all the power but the spring on the clutch isn't actually too bad it feels very much like my car so it's not too bad in that respect Center theatre is huge. I've got obviously nice racing bucket seats, four point racing harness, a half cage in the back, short shifter. It just makes me feel like I'm in a racing car. I'd love to put this thing through its paces on a track. Oh my God, I can only imagine.
when you're driving them down a road like this, they come alive, the steering wheel. Some people hate it, it kind of tracks in the, the imperfections in the road, it's tugging you all over the place. I love that in a Mini because it really makes you hang on and concentrate. This thing, I know Mini used a go-kart feel, but honestly, this is like driving a go-kart. I'm gonna come out with arms that are aching. And I haven't even gone into stupid mode yet. What on earth is that gonna be like? But this, this thing is just a whole new level, an absolute whole new level. This isn't just slightly modifying a car. This is, okay, technically, what is, it, what is possible with an R56 Cooper S? What, what could we do? Just how much could we squeeze out of the engine? And this is, if you like, Lowen's development car. So they'll toy with and play with and experiment with technology and features and stuff on this car that then filter down into the things that they offer their normal customers. Oh, look. National Speed Limit Road, here we go. You do have to hang on, like, I mean, really hang on. And this car is really fast, <laughs> like, really quick. Well, it's good through the higher speed stuff as well. So yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with it now without hitting the sport button. So I now think what we need to do is turn around on this roundabout, head back the other way, and engage hyperdrive. And experience 400 horsepower front wheel drive R56 Mini. What on earth? That is ridiculous. Okay, people, time to take a brave pill and engage the sport button. Now we have It's got 
stunning brakes and, and actually through the corners it's just got a lovely feel to it but it's when you get on throttle Jesus this thing is absolutely savage if you're not paying attention it's very easy for the wheel to get grabbed out of your hand and you could end up you know in a ditch and I tell you what I wouldn't want to drive this car in the wet oh no I'm pretty lost for words to be honest what a thing and the noise from that wastegate is just wicked like really really wicked I drive some fast cars on petrol pen, but this could get you into trouble. Because it, because you're in a Mini, you kind of have your brain calibrated to Mini speeds, but you have to change the setting in your brain to chilly speeds, because this thing is on another level to any Mini I have ever driven. And to be honest, I'm ever likely to drive. It's ridiculous. There is one downside of the car though, and that is, um, if I just scroll through the menus, I am currently averaging seven miles per gallon. Because I looked at the fuel gauge, when I got in the car, the car had a full tank of fuel, and I'm not really driving it that long, and I've used a quarter of a tank of fuel already. Yes, yeah, seven miles per gallon, so to get a 400 brake out of a Mini, you do need to use a lot of fuel. Um, but guys, I know this has been a fairly kind of, you know, gun and run type video, um, when you chuck the keys to this car, and as, as I'm, I'm, there's not many people been allowed to drive this car, um, it's very special. And I would have liked to have kind of had a little bit more time to do drive-bys, but I have to say a massive thank you to Mark and all the guys at Lowen for letting me play with Chili. Um, I've, we've been talking about getting me in this car for a while, but every time I come to Lowen, it's either you know having work done on it, or it wasn't there, or, or for some reason I've not been able to drive it. But today I finally got to drive Chile. What a car. What an absolutely sensational car. Who ever thought putting 400 horsepower in a Mini was a good idea? I went, but it sounds like that. And you get that when the turbo wastegate kicks open. It's just wicked. Anyway, I'm going to go back to Lowen now and just have a moment, find a nice, cool, dark room and relax. My, my palms and my hands are sweating. My arms are aching from hanging onto the steering wheel so much. This thing is awesome. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, 